Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up Docker Compose server on Ubuntu, host it on AWS. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for AWS. And from here, you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image, which comes pre-installed with Docker, Docker Compose, and all the prerequisites required to run a web application. So click on continue to subscribe. And then you would be brought to this page where after the subscription validation, you would be able to click on continue to configuration. After that, choose the AMI, choose the software version, and most importantly, choose the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. And after that, click on continue to launch. Now you have the option to run the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. So I'm going to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. And in this tab, so give a name to your virtual machine, I'm going to call this one as docker. Scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. Scroll down even more, choose the instance type according to your requirements. Choose the key pair by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Scroll down in the network settings and click on allow HTTPS traffic and HTTP traffic if you want to deploy web applications that would access the IP address of your virtual machine. After that, click on launch instance. After that, from this page, click on view all instances. And here, as you can see, our newly created virtual machine is listed over here, but it is still in the pending state. So simply wait for it to change its state from pending to running. And when in running state, we want to access the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. So for that, simply click on it and right click on it and then click on connect. Now on this page, you can see this command. So copy this command and paste it inside either a command prompt or a PowerShell and then replace this text inside this quotation mark for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After putting in the path, simply hit enter and when you are prompted, type in yes and hit enter once more. After that, you would be able to log into your SSH terminal. Now inside this terminal, the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to start the services of Docker. So type in the command sudo systemctl start space docker and then hit enter. And by the way, you can find all of these commands from the link in the description box, which is a blog post setup guide on how to set up Docker Compose on AWS. After that, you want to type in the command sudo service docker start and then hit enter. Now basically you are able to run Docker and Docker Compose to test it out. So type in sudo docker run hello hyphen world. So this is going to download the template of hello world and run it on your screen. So this is a hello message from the docker. Now to verify the installation of docker compose, you can type in the command docker hyphen compose space hyphen version. So you can see that our virtual machine is running the docker version 1.29.2. After that, I'm simply going to follow this step by step documentation by docker themselves to deploy a web application on my virtual machine. So first I'm going to create a directory for my project. After that, we need to create the app.py file. And by the way, I'm going to simply shift the user to su and then use nano command to create the files. Then I'm going to copy paste all of these files or all of these lines in that file and save the file. After that, we need to create the requirement.txt file and then copy these two lines in that txt file. After that, we need to create a file named as docker file and copy all of these lines inside that file. And lastly, we need to create a file which is docker compose.yaml file. And within this file, we're going to copy these lines and paste it inside this file. But what we want to do is that we want to change the ports from 8000 redirected to 5000 to port number 80 redirected to 5000. And then control O, control X to save the file. After that, we can simply use the command docker compose up to actually deploy our application. So type in the command or paste in the command, hit enter and wait for the deployment process to complete. Now as you can see that our web application is running and by the way, the link for this official documentation would be in the description box as well. But right now what we want to do is that we want to get the IP address of our virtual machine. So for that, switch back to EC2 management console, go back one step, click on your virtual machine copy this public IPv4 address and paste it inside a new tab and then hit enter. And as you can see, our web application is currently running on our virtual machine using Docker Compose. 
And that was it for this video. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing of AWS and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Docker Compose on AWS. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.